time has come. For 300 years, we prepared, we grew stronger. While you rested in your cradle of power. So it's been a while since I think anybody's talked about Kingdom Come Deliverance, but game journalists made this game their personal project, not to succeed, but to fail. They tried their hardest to make this game fail. Why? Because the developers wanted it to be realistic. So they decided everybody in this game is going to look like they did in the area that they came from. Basically, they wanted the game to be historically accurate. That's what they wanted. I don't really see a problem with that. But it was a problem for people from Kotaku, IGN. A lot of game journalists were like, we're just not even going to cover the game. We're going to act like it doesn't exist. And they smeared the people that made it, tried to make them istophobes and all, and all kinds of stuff. It was pretty disgusting. It ended up backfiring, and the game actually sold really well <laughs> because, well... You know, they opened up Pandora's box and they brought the Streisand effect to it. Uh, if they hadn't have said anything, I, I don't know how well this game would have done, but it ended up doing fantastic. User scores are pretty good. Uh, Metacritic still even pretty good, but it's mostly from a lot of outlets other than like PC Gamer right here that uh, gave it good reviews. See, like the Six Axis gave it a bad review. And when you check a lot of the bad or mixed reviews for this game, it's because, well, they didn't have any people that, you know, where's the diversity? Stuff like that. They really hate, hate this game. So the game is, was announced for Switch. And, of course, uh, Kotaku has a problem with, problem with this. You can see from the headline, for some reason, Kingdom Come is, Kingdom Come Deliverance is coming to the Switch. Not really sure who would have been asking for this, but sure, whatever. Same guy, by the way, <laughs> who wrote this article that just came out yesterday, along with this article. Optional boss fights. Hell yes. The upcoming Axiom Verge 2 is letting players skip boss fights if they want. I'm sure many a journalist will be doing this uh, so they can move on to another game. And then they'll write reviews like they've actually experienced the game, but they haven't. Uh, this is most of the stuff for game journals. Game journals always demanding easier modes, no boss fights. Literally, I, I think companies should just send them videos of the game running. That's maybe what they should do now. Maybe like Nintendo and EA and Sony and Microsoft, they should just send they should just send videos of other people playing the games. I think that would be a better way to go because that's all they basically that's all they basically want anyway. Uh, so this fake gamer is mad that Kingdom Come Deliverance is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Why is it coming? Well, obviously to sell it. I would imagine some people might buy it. Some people bought The Witcher 3 on Switch, even though it doesn't look very good. It runs, though. Uh, Witcher 3 on Switch is pretty impressive for what it is. It's very, very downgraded, but... It runs, and it plays fantastic. I actually checked it out because I was really curious. Did they pull this off? I'll probably check this out, too, just because Kotaku's mad about it. <laughs> I don't expect it to be very expensive. Uh, but I'm sure there's some people that loved this game and like, cool, man, I can play Kingdom Come Deliverance on handheld mode. But no, this guy's very, very salty. Very, very salty. Uh, Warhorse Studio says, due to your overwhelming feedback, the unthinkable thing... Becomes thinkable in collaboration with Tweet's Saber, Kingdom Come Deliverance is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And now he says, who asked for this? Who has never played the game, doesn't own any other system it exists for, and it will run better on? It also came out on PS4 and Xbox One, and well now, three years later, buy it on the Nintendo Switch? For the three people on the planet who are currently saying, uh, me, maybe... There are things about the game that are really annoying. There's a lot of medieval drudgery, and its combat is pitched as being realistic, but it's really just selectively terrible. I like how he stepped over what people were upset about. Here's, an un here's another article from Kotaku from when the game actually came out. 
Kingdom Come owes its popularity to realism and conservative politics. See what they did there? This is Kotaku. This is what they do. This is what they're no stranger to doing. And it's like, well, this game came out. Let's find another reason to shit on it and see if maybe we can change some hearts and minds. Well, no, what actually is going to happen now is people are probably going to buy it for the Switch just because you're whining about it again, again. It, it backfires. And what's funny to me is they never quite get this Streisand effect that they do. They always think they think that people actually give a shit about their opinions, and nobody does. Everybody, everybody sees game journalists as gigantic jokes now. And they're only digging their own hole. And I think it's absolutely hilarious. Anyway, Kingdom Come coming for the Switch. I'm sure it'll bring plenty of butt hurt. Uh, Mr. Mr. Luke here, why don't you go ahead and fight the bosses in Axiom Verge too? You make over $50,000 a year to play video games. Do your job. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.